Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're going to be reviewing Apex Minecraft hosting. Now right up front, I want to address the elephant in the room. We have, for a very long time, had a long-standing partnership with Apex. Now with that, I'm trying to keep this review as fair and evenly and honest and open as possible. But... That is something I wanted to disclose up front. We've got other server hosts coming up in the next few weeks and months. I just wanted to start with Apex and then move on to the other server host. For example, Scala Cube, MC Pro Hosting, all those, they are all coming. But we're starting out with Apex Minecraft Hosting today. All of the other server hosts will be compared on these same categories. Today we're going to be comparing ease of use, user guides, support, mod pack support, quality of hardware, price, and then we're going to be going over additional features that you might find with Apex, and then we're going to be talking about the downsides, what you shouldn't go with Apex and Minecraft hosting, and then we're going to be talking about the final verdict and what you should do and what you should go with in the end. So that's what we're going to be talking about. It's going to be a very in-depth sort of review going over all of these different steps. It's one of the most in-depth videos I've done in a while. So um, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into it. The first category we're going to be looking at is ease of use. Now this encompasses a few things. First, things first is actually the ease of setting up and purchasing the server. At Apex, the server can be set up in under five minutes. That's it, just five minutes. That's all you need to set up the server and get it up and running. And that includes things like mod packs, paper, adding plugins to your server with paper, stuff like that. So if you want to set up a mod pack, which we're going to talk more about mod pack support later, but it can be done in that five minute time frame, as well as setting up a paper server, setting up a bucket server, a forward server, or just a vanilla Minecraft server. It can all be done in under five minutes with Apex very quickly and very easily. Now, once you You've purchased your server, got your server set up. The second part of ease of use is then the management side of your server, keeping your server running. What if you want to add those plugins? What if you want to add custom mods? What if you want to change the mods in the mod pack? The second part of ease of use involves all of that and actually managing the server after it's live. So how easy is Apex to manage the server after it's live? Well, Apex is a custom version of the multi-craft control panel that makes finding the console, restarting the server, stopping the server, starting the server, even doing things like finding logs, changing server versions. If you want to update your server, it's very, very easy to do. Adding in mods, adding in plugins, via their FTP that's built right into the panel, all of that stuff. Apex makes setting up and running your server very, very easily. So the running part of your server is also very, very easy to do with Apex. The FTP that's built in, by the way, to the control panel is in many ways better than FileZilla. So like, you know, I've used files in the past on the channel. Now, if I was doing an Apex specific video, I would just use the one that's on their website. Unless you're having to transfer thousands of files, if you just need to go in like me most of the time and grab one file, make one change, and then re-upload that change, that is super, super easy to do from the Apex panel. You don't have to worry about opening up another program. You do it all via your web browser. It's really, really good. So as far as ease of use goes, setting up the server in under five minutes, and then all of the backend management features that allow for easy updating, easy plugin management, easy log finding, easy stopping and restarting, clear content console, you know, being able to easily see the console with color codes, you know, errors are going to show up in red, things like that. With all of that, Apex gets a 5 out of 5 out of ease of use. So after ease of use, we have user guides. Now, some people would say that this isn't a fair comparison in some ways or that this is a useless category, but in my opinion, the amount of user guides and the amount of, you know, help that you can find to run your server is important. And on Apex, they have tons of different user guides that you can use and best of all with that custom multi-craft panel that I talked about they are right there on the page of the website that you're looking at so right on the left hand side you will see these different user guides and they change depending on where you are if you're in the console they're going to be different than if you're on the main page they're going to be different if you're in the FTP page than if you're on you know like the chat page or something like that or the scheduled task page all of that different stuff is going to be well different depending on where you're at there are tons of user guides at Apex there great resources to go to a lot of them have videos all of them have a great text you know sort of format which I personally a lot of times prefer video is great and I know we do video here but that's why we also have the text articles for pretty much everything we do because a lot of times it's easier to follow along in a text format so because of all these guides Using Apex can actually be a lot easier than other hosts you've used in the past because where other hosts, yeah, have to, you know, reach out to their support and all that stuff with Apex, a lot of times, before you even go to reach out to the support, you're like, hey, here's the issue, it's already solved, and you're done before, you know, even having to think about it. So that's what's great about Apex. That's one thing that I like, and that's why user guides are actually a big point for me in reviews. But truthfully, they're not as big of a point as support, and that is one thing that Apex does pretty well. So if there's anything that Apex does better than anybody else, truthfully, it is their support. To test this, I'm actually going to live in this video, there will be not another jump cut until after this section, transfer into game, right, not into game, excuse me, into the web browser here. This is Apex website. 
Now, I am going to go ahead and hide my face cam because down here in the bottom right, you see this little uh, support icon? You can click on that. It's going to open up their live chat. Now, we are in an incognito browser here, right? I've not done anything else. I'm going to use a random username. So, I'm going to be Todd, for example, at this. And then, I guess for my email, we can do like Todd Glassley, I don't know, at gmail.com. And then the question is, hey, I was wondering if you supported Sky Factory for servers and question mark so choose department this is going to be a technical support question and start the chat now immediately we are connected right in to a support agent here we've got eve now this is 100 percent live i'm not doing any jump cuts right so we'll go ahead and ask our question again hey i was wondering if you support oh they're already typing in we do yes now i'm gonna ask that was fast are you a bot so let's see that was fast are you a bot and I'm curious, right? Let's go ahead and see, see if it's a real live person or a bot, because it was instant. And boom, I get that a lot. I get that a lot, and I actually did do a jump cut there because it kind of freaked me out there. I know it's not a bot, and that was like almost a bot response, but I don't, they aren't a bot. The Apex live support are all real people, and uh, but no, anyone here that is a bot is very clearly tagged as a bot. If we have an actual name, we're people, and that's true. Everyone at Apex, like, you can go on Apex's Discord, see all their support staff, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, Apex has support and you saw how fast that was. I mean, we contacted them at 1140 boom That was faster you bought and then they immediately responded all within the same minute there with real responses And it actually took a minute to type up this response. So yeah, that's awesome stuff. Awesome. Thank you so much So there we go. That was um, You know a very easy and quick test of Apex's live support So now we can go ahead and transition back to the face cam, but there you go I don't think there's any denying that a real person support that quickly and that fast is going to be able to get done at any other Minecraft server host. Going into this video, I actually did look at some of the other top hosts out there, tested their support, and usually you're waiting at least 3-4 minutes for a response. That's great, but at Apex, this is right now 11 o'clock, 11.42 on a Saturday, so peak day usually. Instant support right away because Apex prides themselves in that. And that is one thing that I love about Apex. Whenever we've ever had an issue, Apex is right there with support to help you out. Whether it's the main support staff or even getting a sysadmin ahead. You know, someone who's kind of the head of the, you know, support, technical support side of things in there to take a look at a problem. They are there very, very quickly. And I cannot stress enough how amazing that is at Apex. And because of that, 5 out of 5, this is truly the bar in my opinion, for support in the Minecraft industry. If someone doesn't beat that, then they're not going to get a 5 out of 5 when it comes to support. Now, I feel like all I've done so far is kind of like gush on how amazing Apex is, but they're not all perfect, and one of the things I wanted to mention was the quality of hardware. Now, if there's one area that Apex does do some points, it is here, or it's the transparency specifically of the hardware, right? So, quality of hardware at Apex, from what I've been able to see, is about on par with the rest of the industry, but they're not too transparent about it. So, I did reach out to their live chat support, the same one you saw right there, but earlier, I did reach out to them and asked what kind of CPUs they run on their servers because CPU has become more important specifically on Minecraft version 1.13 to Minecraft version 1.15.2. 1.16 is less CPU dependent, but it's still important. So I wanted to see what kind of CPUs that they had at Apex. Well, truthfully, you can't find this information without reaching out to their live support and kind of pushing a little bit, but I was able to get these five different CPUs. They're going to be different depending on the data center that you're hosted in, right? Different data centers are going to have different CPUs, and that's just kind of how it is. So we have Xenon E5 2620v3. We have the Xenon E5 1650v4. And then we have the Xeon E5 2650v2. And then we have the Epic 732p1. And then we also have a, the Ryzen 7 3800X. So that's a lot of CPUs there. We'll try to list them on the screen maybe or something like that. Maybe over there, I don't know. But we'll list them on the screen so you can kind of see that list of what those five CPUs are, but overall, that is what the CPU setup is at Apex. But again, it's kind of hard to find exactly what it is, and you won't know what CPU you're on when you purchase with Apex. Now, you can reach out to their live chat support, and they could probably give you that information. However, again, it's not something that's easily findable and easy to disclose. Now, one thing I do want to note is that every single server at Apex is set up on hardware monitors, and if one stock box starts performing badly, using a lot of CPU, using too much RAM, all of that stuff, they are there looking at it, usually with a sysadmin right away, within minutes, 
minutes to see what the issue is and get it solved. And if needed, they will split that box up. They'll move you to another server, something like that, to make sure your performance stays great, stays good, and stays up like high end throughout everything in your entire experience with Apex. I've actually seen this happen before. Apex move players to new servers as a server, for example, goes out of whack, right? So at Minecraft server hosting, there's multiple servers on the box you're on. Let's say server A, that's not your server, starts going crazy. And server B, which is your server, starts kind of getting eaten by the overperformance of that server. They will move you to another server to make sure that both you and the original player have a good server experience. And in order to know when to do that, they have all these different monitors set up. I've actually seen it happen before where they have all these different monitors and everything like that. It's really, really cool and it allows them to make sure that they never overstuff boxes and things like that. Apex is prides themselves in having everybody having a great high performance experience. But again, the transparency of that hardware does knock them down a few points here to probably a four or 4.5 score. We'll go ahead and say four there because again, it, it, it's, you know, the, the, you're not knowing exactly what you're going to be on unless you reach out to support can be an issue. Now, moving on from there, let's talk about mod pack support. And this is another area where Apex actually does shine and they have over 130 mod packs currently at the time I'm recording this video, available on Apex, and that number is only going up. As more mod packs came out, come out, more popular mod packs, they are added to this list, and they're constantly kept up to date. There's actually someone at Apex who works on this pretty much full-time. Like This is one of their main duties, is to keep the mod packs up to date, make sure they're working, test them on servers, things like that, to make sure that all the mod packs are working fully all the time. So that is a really, really big deal to Apex, and it's something that I am, you know, love about promoting Apex in like the other videos, is the fact that I know if you want a mod pack server, they are the place to go look, check it out, and get it done. So from FTB packs to standalone packs like RL Craft and Sky Factory 4 to even the Technic mod packs, right? Like, you know, all the some of the more obscure Technic mod packs are even listed on Apex. So that's pretty cool stuff. And they're all very, very easy one-click setup. You just go in your launcher, click on the one that you want, click OK, and you're done. You're, you're set up on that mod pack. You just launch it up via the launcher, and there you go. So awesome stuff there. Very, very easy to use mod packs. Very, very easy to set up mod packs. And huge, huge, huge numbers of mod packs supported. From there, we're going to move on to price. Now, at Apex, you're going to pay $5.99 per month for a one gigabyte server. However, you do get a discount per gigabyte as you purchase more, right? Purchase more gigabytes. So most people, I would recommend getting a four gigabyte server. That's going to give you a plenty of headroom. You're going to be able to run mod packs on it, and you're going to have to be able to have a few different players on there, you know, probably 10, 15 players on a four gigabyte server, even with most mod packs out there. That's going to cost you $19.99 per month. And again, you're going to be lag free no matter what with about 10 players on most mod packs. Now, this pricing is actually standard. You know, MC Pro Hosting compares. A lot of the other hosting providers out there compare to Apex's pricing down to the dot, right? Down to the, like the exact same amount. And the discount you get as you purchase more is actually a little bit less at Apex from what I've seen, which surprised me. Truthfully, I've always heard from, you know, the audience here that Apex is a more premium server host. Truthfully, I think that's justifiable with their, you know, their support and the fact they don't overstuff servers and stuff like that. But overall, that's what I've heard. And I was expecting this to be the case when I looked at other, you know, server hosting providers. Now, they're not a budget host by any means. They're not the cheapest out there. So you're not going to be able to, you know, pay like $2 a gigabyte. But what you do pay for, I think the quality comes through on the back end, which is very interesting to me. And I'm curious if that's going to be the same when I go to, you know, some of the other hosts and do in-depth reviews of them. But we also have a 25% discount at Apex for your first month. So if you use the code the breakdown listed in the description down below, you'll be able to get 25% off your first month with Apex Minecraft Hosting. Give it a try at a discounted rate before you commit to that full monthly rate. I'm also going to try to get discount codes for all the other hosts we review. Should be possible, but we're going to see some of them might not be on board, but I'm going to try my best to do that. So if there's another host, as the more reviews come out, maybe you'll be able to get a discount at those as well. So those are kind of our main categories with Apex, but I wanted to mention a few additional features, and we kind of mentioned these loosely earlier, but I want to mention them again. One is the Multicraft control panel being truly custom. Like, you won't find Apex's control panel at any other server host out there. It's easy to use, it's well designed, and it works. It's lag-free, never wait on loading on, that, on the Apex panel, never have any issues with cracks, things like that. It's just very, very lag-free, very, very high, you know, uptime, never had any problems with it. And then on top of that, we have the FTP that's built into that panel. And that FTP, again, was mentioned earlier, but it is truly amazing to not have to download a third-party application to simply upload a plugin or download a config 
and make that con, you know, do some change in that config, change some text, whatever, and then upload that config again. To not have to use a third party tool to do that is really, really cool and something that I love a that Apex has and that it's built in. Even that FTP control panel, by the way, is custom optimized and completely 100%, you know, built from the ground up sort of a scenario to make sure it's lag free and perform as well on your browser. On top of that, Apex does have those guides that are really, really good. And, you know, if you have any issues, like with the FTP control panel, you can't figure out how to log in or how to upload something or whatever, they have in-depth guides for it. You know, how to read the console. They have in-depth guides for it. How to change your server version. They have in-depth guides for it, all linked right there in that panel. So really, really, truly incredible. And last but not least, I do want to mention this one more time. Apex does not oversell. Those budget hosts that I mentioned that are selling two gigabytes for a dollar, for example, those server hosts a lot of times oversell and just assume that not all the gigabytes they sell in a box are going to be used so they can oversell that box. They the back end server has 32 gigabytes. They might even sell 48 gigabytes in that server, assuming they're not all going to be used. Apex does not do that at all. They pride themselves in having a lag free experience. So much so, if you're having issues, if you're causing lag, they'll move you around, they'll move you to another box to make sure you have enough headroom and make sure that there is no lag going on on your server. So that is something I wanted to stress again. And while they have that, you know, they're not super upfront about the hardware, they make sure the hardware is lag free and that your server is lag free on the hardware that you get. So what are the downsides of Apex? Well, mostly, again, it's the transparency of hardware that I, you know, mentioned there. While they do try to keep the lag down, you still don't know exactly what hardware you're on unless you reach out to the support and ask. Then they'll be able to tell you, but still there's not much you can do about that. Another downside of Apex is the price. Again, they're right in the middle, kind of in line with MC Pro hosting and a lot of the other popular server hosts out there, but they're not by any means a cheap, cheap host. They're also not the most expensive host I've seen, by the way, so that's something to note as well, but you have to realize and ask what you're getting paid for. So they're not a budget host, but they're not the most expensive, but you're getting great support and great uptime from that so it's kind of one of those things you have to trade you know for that whereas with a budget host you're probably gonna get bad support bad hardware or both so yeah that's kind of the thing there you're trading that budget host and getting it paying a higher price for a higher quality product which I can very 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 confidently say so what is the final verdict well in closing I'm gonna have to give apex what 4.75 pickaxes out of five that's a high score I know and you might be say this is a biased review dislike unsub I'm out by screw you Nick and I get it, but the truth of the matter is, I have looked and looked for years. And let me tell you the story. A few years ago, we looked around. We were trying to see if there was any other Minecraft server host out there that we could use other than Apex. We found a few. Um, I'll name names here. We, we, we found game servers, which was one we tried for a little while and actually promoted here on the channel for a little while. Their quality of backend and, and their user management and their ease of use was just horrible. I mean, bad. The server quality wasn't that bad once you got a server, but managing that server was nearly impossible. Then we tried Shockbite. The issue at Shockbite was the support. Also, it was kind of weird. Like Their backend was kind of very generic in my opinion at the time i don't know if that's changed since then but the support at shock for us was horrible i'll be doing reviews by the way of both of these companies companies in the coming months but when we tried them they weren't good we came back to apex because truthfully apex has always been incredible i started working with apex originally back in 2014 one year after they were founded almost to the day and since then we have worked together in some capacity and truthfully i've looked and looked and looked and looked and i'm constantly looking at this industry i'm literally like we run a network Minecraft server with hundreds of players. We are constantly looking at the server host out there. We're constantly looking at the different things that happen and we keep saying Apex is the best because they just keep proving it to us. You know, every time someone else comes out with something new, Apex is right there to answer it and do it better. So anyway, that is kind of the final verdict here. So should you get a server with Apex? In our opinion, they truly are the best. Um, like I said, after less than three months of trying these other server hosts, we were back with Apex, and we were back working with them, and since then, we've never had any la lag. That's Apex's fault. Um, we have had lag on Breakdown Craft, but uh, that'd be my fault. Not, uh, not Apex is there. So, yeah, anyway, that, that is the thing. Lag on our servers has always been caused by plugins or something we've done, not by Apex's own hardware. And if there was an issue on our servers, they were always there to tell us. For example, we did have a plugin run awry and shoot our CPU usage to 100%. Within about five minutes, we were on, you know, with Apex saying, hey, what's this issue? We've noticed this is happening. This could be the, uh, you know, the plugin that it could be. We're going to keep monitoring. Let's figure it out. And sure enough, we did. So that's something that Apex is able to do that a lot of other server hosts won't do. I've seen server hosts 
have plugins go awry and they actually just cut your server off and say, hey, figure this out. Once you figured it out, let us know. We'll reactivate your account. Um, so the fact that Apex is willing to you know, help you solve the issue, that's really cool stuff. But nevertheless, there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. However, Apex's support team, go test them because they're going to be the best place to answer the Apex Minecraft hosting questions you have. Their information is probably more up to date than what I have and all that stuff. So while I am willing to you know, answer questions in the comment section down below, Apex's live chat is going to be much, much better. But thank you all so, so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Use our discount code, The Breakdown, for 25% off your first month at Apex. All that info is in the description down below. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I am out. Peace.